Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Okay now, so if you are watching this video on the day it comes out or pretty much any day after that, it is not Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It was yesterday or however long ago it was. Although for me, when I'm filming this, Martin Luther King Jr. Day is today. Crazy how the internet works like that. <laughs> but anyways, I still wanted to make this video, A, because it's Martin Luther King Jr. weekend, the general area. Also, you should not just be celebrating or learning about Martin Luther King Jr. just on his specific day. It can be any time of the year, any day, really. And also, what if you are in the future, there's some good information in here that you might want to know about future Martin Luther King Jr. days, specifically in the national parks. So the first thing is that in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day, the National Park Service waives all entrance fees. Uh, so for 2022, that was January 17th, uh, which was yesterday, but that pretty much happens every single year. The entrance fee for national parks are waived. Another fun little fact about Martin Luther King Jr. Day is that this is the only federal holiday designated as a national day of service to encourage all Americans to volunteer to improve their communities. Many national parks traditionally host a variety of service projects that people can sign up for as volunteers. And of course, there are a bunch of specific national parks to Martin Luther King Jr. and his mission that the National Park Service protects. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over those parks. Now, there is obviously a Martin Luther King Jr. National Historical Park in uh, Georgia. This is Dr. King's neighborhood in Atlanta that influenced his life. And you can visit his birthplace, home, church, and burial site. Then in Alabama, there's the Selma to Montgomery uh, National Historical Trail, where you can retrace the footsteps of the 1965 Voting Rights March led by Dr. King on a 45 mile long trail. Also in Alabama, there is the Birmingham Civil Rights National Monument. You can visit the places where Dr. King and his fellow civil rights activists coordinated a nonviolent campaign to end segregation. And then there is the Lincoln Memorial. Even though this isn't directly related to Dr. King in its like founding, this is where Dr. King delivered his iconic I Had a Dream speech. And similar to the Lincoln Memorial, this is also in Washington, D.C., but this one is directly related to Martin Luther King Jr. There's the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, and you can visit this, and it has the Martin Luther King Jr. statue and memorial. So all of these sites celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. in some way, and you can visit them anytime. They are a National Park Service site, and they all tell his story as well as the stories of others who helped in the civil rights movement. If you would like to find out more info, I'll leave a link to all of the things about Martin Luther King Jr. Day in the description down below related to the national parks, and also a link to some Martin Luther King Jr. specific related sites. Well, everybody, that's the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little bell next time to always know to post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you next video. Bye!